Uh, in the second part of the APIs, uh, we're going to uh, do the dynamic uh, array uh, for holding uh, objects. However, before we start, we have to highlight actually the uh, the APIs we're going to use uh, in Java in general. Most of the work we're going to do from now on is uh, we're going to include uh, Java APIs, for instance, when you do applets, for instance, uh, or uh, you do interfaces and colors and so on. If you want to put events, uh, images, uh, and of course, input output that's already is built in uh, using the math. Uh, if you're doing some uh, network uh, programming, so you have to use JavaNet, uh, of course. Uh, and if you're using files, uh, if you're using a remote method invocations between the client and server, so you need to use java.rmis, uh, registry servers, if you want to do securities, uh, and part of the security is the access control list, you can use that one as well, certifications, interfaces, if you want to connect to a database, so use Java SQL, all of these are uh, concurrence and so on. Uh, all of these are Java APIs. It means the um, libraries you can use, they've been done uh, for you. Of course, the second part, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, you're going to use the Java utilities. Uh, and of course, we're going to talk about the array list. These the in this tutorial, we're going to talk about this, and of course, as we progress in the course, we can use uh, the, uh, the others, uh, uh, APIs. Uh, all right. Uh, in order to use the array uh, list, which list is a dynamic array, uh, hold usually uh, objects. Let's create a class first. Uh, of course, I'm going to create the main in the class, but I'm going to choose a class is already written. Uh, I'm going to say, for instance, uh, testing array uh, list uh, API, something like that. Uh, and of course, it's public. Let me write it, I'll write it here. Uh, let me either do this or uh, I'll just type it uh, my, myself. Of course, it's here. Uh, and I can type, you can choose any name. Uh, okay, it's public, static, void, main, and of course, string. I'm sorry. Uh, and here it is. Uh, before, remember, uh, as per the first uh, tutorial we've done on the APIs, you have to make sure you import, you import your API or uh, the class you want. So import uh, Java uh, because part of the utility, util, and of course array list. Here it is. So you have to include the array uh, list uh, in here. Uh, if you want to do a project and you can't remember this, of course you can go back here and you can go to it, array list. If you click on it, it explains everything to you, right? So you have to make sure you import, if you look in here, you import the Java, here it is, Java util array list, here it is. Right, and explain to you uh, how that can be used and the methods inside it. Uh, the methods, of course, here they are. You go the add, you can add, you can clear, you can clone, contains, uh, and all sorts. You can have a look at this, all the details, each one of them uh, explained in here. So this is part of the online uh, documentations. Right. Uh, let's choose one of the classes uh, in here. Uh, 
a simple class that would take for instance a person if I look at person as person class person uh, takes first name age and of course contact number remember this is private static uh, static means I have to use the class a class name here so for each one of them I've got name the age and the contact number and they are private so I have to use the set and get uh, methods in here so how can I create array of uh, objects here it is take this name here array here it is array list here it is but the class name here which is person which is this one here and then give name to the array right uh, let's say call it list for instance equal that is a new again remember this array this is a class a new array list person and of course look at this and this one here it is right then remember here it is that's how many uh, in the list is the list is empty so creating an array this array is empty is contain objects of type person right uh, so create a new now if I want to add remember person you have to create an object called a new person I'm gonna split this tutorial to different parts uh, and each part is gonna go a few minutes to explain a specific uh, concept uh, so in this case for instance i would like to add remember i've got in here add uh, in person for instance so use list remember use this one because you create an object called list list there it is tells you here add when i say add look at this person add there it is what would you add you're going to add a person of course that is see the person so what do you use you have to say you need know, a new person so if you new person say new that is person as the constructor of person what the constructor has look in here look at the constructor either you get an empty one like default or you get one string name age and of course the contact a number you can do this uh, to the first one uh, you can say uh, Samir Ati for instance age uh, say 18 and remember the contact number here to create contact number is a string so in here so i come here and i put a string and i will say for instance uh, 441914 right, so i created the first object in here uh, if you look in here a new person it is add a new person and the person here it is first one uh, and right here uh, of course there are two if you notice one two and of course i need one uh, in here and there's no need to have one uh, in here it's like that here it is right uh, let me uh, use the default uh, one in here right here it is i'm gonna say list then we're gonna add another one list add new person 
and I'll do this. Work in here. This, oh, sorry. Here. Just add. There it is. Add new person. Here it is. Uh, look at the second one. The second one uh, is only colon this part. So I have to use the set name, set age, and set, of course, uh, contact uh, number uh, here. So I'm going to do it here. Uh, I can I can do that. All you can do is uh, this. Uh, but first, let me do list. I'm going to add third one. List. Add. There it is. Uh, of course, add here. Oh, this here. Uh, a new person. And of course, the new person is going to need a name. There it is. Muhammad. Muhammad Ali Clay, Muhammad Ali, for instance, uh, 21 years old. Contact number is, for instance, uh, 971-50-6677234, something like that. Uh, of course, in here, there's no need. There's one missing here, and of course, close this one here. So, if you look in here, I've got three. I created a three a list of three objects. Remember, just recap in here. The list is the object of type array list. Now, uh, this is the first uh, part in here. Uh, the second part, uh, I'm going to show you how you add to this uh, this one. So uh, let me uh, just, uh, I'll stop here for you just to see and recap. The first, uh, in order to create a, a dynamic list, so use array list. And before you use that, make sure you import Java util array list in here. This is a class, array list. That is the class name here. And put any object the name here. You can put any name. I put list in this case. A new, of course, array list. The class name. And of course, don't forget uh, the brackets in here. If I want to add, I can add. And of course, you have to call for the constructor new. Construct new object. New person. Here's the first object. It's been added. Here it is. Then I add. Another one person, but it's an empty, doesn't have any data, so I'll, I'll, I'll add the data in a minute, and I can add and add it the third uh, one uh, here. I'll stop here, and in the second part, uh, I'm going to explain to you how would I populate uh, this one uh, in here. Thank you very much.